Yung, yung kaping, I've been, I've had four meetings or five meetings today. I haven't had chance to to study that. Sorry, ah. Uh, uh, kay Senator Lux, hindi ko, wala akong information whatsoever. At uh, yung Court of Appeals kasi they granted the petition of uh, Senator Luxon's uh, for, for him to dismiss, for the court to dismiss yung ano, sir. Okay. Yung, again, I'd rather not comment on something that I have not read or seen. No, so, I think I'll be commenting on something, something on a very blind manner. Sorry. Just too many meetings today. I've been running late, actually. Huh. So they've been flowing one into the other. But would you urge him, if ever, to you know come out? Because, well, the CA decision you, somehow I, clears I, the way for him. I, to my appeal to him has always been, you know, we will guarantee him the, a fair trial and the protection of all of his rights. So, parang... Right. Again, sorry, Christine. I'd rather see what the decision was. Okay. Sir, Anna. Just, just a clarification on the executive order sa illegal logging. Uh, what is new with this uh, executive order considering na bawal naman talaga magputol ng trees from natural forests? What well, is yung nakita po natin sa Karaga nung tayo dumalaw, eh kasama doon sa mga troso na doon po sa ilog, eh mga punong talaga natural. So, dito tinatighten up natin, no? Um, some of potential markets sa so processing. Yung processing, hindi kayo, hindi nyo mapatunayan meron kayo talagang supply, hindi kayo mag-operate. Wala mabibentahan nyo mga nagtutroso. It's one thing. Merong aspect sa National Greening Program na kung saan yung mga kailangan ng panggatong para sa kanilang pagluluto, amongst other things, ay eh, bibigyan na ibang paraan para makalikom, eh, magtatanim at makalikom nung gagamitin panggatong para hindi na atakihin pa yung ating natural forest. Meron yung provision dyan, kung di ako nagkakamali, na kung saan meron kayong planted trees, no, ginawa mo cover para yung mga kinuha yung natural trees, eh, may tago sa kalaman ng gobyerno, pag nahuli kayo, sarado kayo. So those are amongst the things that are uh, new in that particular bill. But more than anything, yung the DNR secretary has already uh, come to us on several locations to tell us that yung forest guides are, are under threat. No? Meron checkpoint rin na may suspicion kami has to, was attacked, no? basically because of uh, connections to in the suppression of illegal trade in illegal logs. So sir, uh, clarification, this is to strengthen yung existing law natin on illegal logging. More than anything, I think I'm stating that this is one of my primary interests and that everybody has to attend to it. Yung, huwag natin kalimutan, in just that last trip on the areas that were ravaged by floods, mga 1.5 uh, billion pesos sa kakailanganin for infrastructure rehabilitation alone. And that was, what, second or third week pa lang ng January. So, ang dami pa natin linggo natitira sa taon na to. So, talagang meron tayong reforestation program. Ang problema naman dun, kakaunti yung pwede natin itanim. Tapos habang kakaunti itatanim natin, tuloy-tuloy pa rin na wala humpay, yung pagpuputol ng remaining na forest cover natin. So, sinusubukan namin i-address yan. Pinipilit namin na wala yung pagiging pakiging wala yung pakinabang ng mga tao mamumutol ng kahoy na hindi dapat pinuputol. Thank you, sir. Sir, will you uh, maybe know the government's course of, next course of action uh, in trying to revoke the plea bargain deal with Garcia? And will you order a, a preventive suspension of any active military officials who may be involved in corruption in the service? Yung actions dyan, the DOJ has already been given instructions. No? Yung, well, not only the DOJ, primarily OSG. And I think when did Abby get married? Um, December 22 pa lang ho. Eh, klinaro ko na sa OSG and the others in his office, no? That our primary interest, di ba may nagtanong na sa senador, ano ba ang pulisiya ng Estado? Mabawi yung pera o mapakulong yung may kasalanan? At ang priority ko po yung mapakulong yung may kasalanan. Mm -hmm. Hindi ko pe, pwede mag-umiral yung paniniwala na basta magnakaw ka na sufficiente, pwede na matukso yung gobyerno makipagarigluhan. So, klaro-klaro po yan. Uh, tayo po yung nagsalita na rin sa palagay nating mali no, sa pagpapasok dito sa plea bargain na to. Pati naman po yung sino nga ba noong January of uh, 2009, sinabing sufficient evidence, uh, bigla lang noong Marso, nagbago. So, lahat po ng paraan para hindi matuloy yung plea bargain na yan at isang pa yung iba pa mga kaso tulad sa tax evasion na ibili na po natin, hindi lang sa OSG pero pati sa DOJ. Tapos kung kailangan ng preventive suspension, tuloy-tuloy naman po yung pagsisiyasat. Um, sinabi ko na rin kahapon, hindi ako nagkakamali, 
napakarami po natin sinisiyasan talaga. Sabay-sabay na inaatas natin sa mga kawani ng gobyerno inatasan na suriin lahat itong mga problema ito para maparusahan yung may kasalanan, pero mas importante, oh, para hindi na maulit yung katulad nito. Sir, huli na lang. Sir, sir kay Heidi Mendoza, you know, uh, we, we have K heard... Can you talk a little louder? I'm sorry. Sir, kay Heidi Mendoza po, are you considering giving her a, a post in her government or at least in the anti-corruption campaign? Yung I will ask her. No? Yung I would rather not force somebody to... Di ba? She has already stated the stress that she and her family has undergone. She has already contributed. Ngayon, if she's willing to contribute more, I would say, why not? But at the same time, yung kausapin ko muna naman itong taong ito, baka naman, di ba, parang lumabas na pilitan siyang yung isang bagay na ba, medyo nahirapan na rin siya. Ayoko naman mamilit. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay.